Well, look, I was telling you about a story that came to us from our Five Hive. It's a local woman um, and wanted to share how she found love again after a tremendous loss in her family. But what really captured our attention was how she found it. And this was an instant connection. Oh my gosh, yeah, it totally was. Yeah, it was funny because I'm sort of bawling when I'm there and just like, oh my gosh, this is what I've been looking for. Just Three times a week, this is part of Ann Peavy's new routine. It was not the life she imagined when she left her corporate job. All of those visions, it was really hard for me to sort of make a shift to say, you know what, that's not gonna happen now, and how do I get past that? But it just felt, again, a little weepy. It, it felt lonely because I was so excited about not just making the shift to a new job and not just being home-based, but spending more time with my dogs because I love them. Anju and Bartlett, named after the pairs, came to the PV home at the same time. As far as the disparity in size, we always said, like, we didn't ever tell them when they were adopted, so they just sort of thought that they were siblings, that they were brother and sister. And as we watched them grow up, you kind of think that too. You know, she's a tough little pug, and he was a really sensitive Great Dane. We called him our delicate flower. And he was Anne's hiking buddy. It was their thing. And it was what they were doing when she first noticed a problem. And noticed just a little something on his elbow, and I thought, oh, I should get him to the vet. Um, but he had, he thinks, cardiomyelopathy. To say our hearts are broken, it's, you know, that's it's not something I, I say lightly, but it totally felt like it. It took both my husband and I a long time to get back on our favorite little trail in our neighborhood. We both just, it was sort of like a, a little mental roadblock, if you will. And that's where this drive comes in. So now how far away is uh, The way the crow flies is literally four blocks. Really? Which is pretty amazing. I decided after about a month of missing Bartlett that I needed to come up with a solution. And so I was talking to my husband. I said, what do you think if I like put an ad in the paper or an ad somewhere and just said, hey, I'm looking for a dog that wants a walk, but it's got to be a big dog. And he's like, yeah, have fun with that. Anne used an app called Nextdoor to begin her search for a hiking companion. I don't want to be paid. I just want the enjoyment of having a big dog that loves to be on the trails. It's like, it seems like such a goofy thing to do. But it worked. And literally the minute I walked in their door and sat down, he was sort of in my lap as this big, leaning, sweet, furry, lovable guy. And I could tell just literally in a second that, that he was the one, if you will. <laughs> it seems so funny. It's like a matchmaker. Coachster, hi, buddy. He's ready to go. <laughs> oh, he knows exactly what <laughs> he this knows means. what's going huh? on. <laughs> You know, it's not that they're incapable of ever walking him. It's that they have busy lives and some medical issues. And I think they were just so glad to, to have sort of a, a solution that makes him really happy too. And so several times a week, Anne takes him on a little adventure. He definitely did exactly what I needed him to do. He gets me out of the trails, but he has like literally just sort of fixed my broken heart. He's the sweetest dog in the world. He's the nicest guy. He loves everybody and everything. He doesn't bark. He just loves to hike and loves to cuddle, which is pretty much everything I needed. And back at home, <laughs> Anne's not the only one feeling a bit better. <laughs> Aww. I know, she's, you know, yeah. She's, it's, she feels her heart is lifted and the pug, you can tell, loves yeah. Cody too. And using an app that's not even designed for that right. to say, hey, can I borrow your dog? Shoot, we've used that app when our dog's ran down the road and hasn't come yeah. back. I mean, we use that app for a lot if anything's going on in the neighborhood. So next door is amazing if you don't have it. And I always wonder, like, the first conversation when it was like she posted it, someone gave her a call, and then it's like, okay, have fun with my dog. And you're like, okay, now they have this bond that's so strong. Oh, yeah, instant. I think it was just mint on this one. It was, it was really so. good.